police reinvestigation, which was rejected both times. Despite their clear innocence, Stalin labeled them traitors. Thirteen of the fifteen were sentenced to death, leaving only Stern and Solomon Bregman. Bregman, subjected to severe beatings, fell into a coma during the trial and died of heart disease five months after the executions, and that left Lena Stern. Stern, despite her age, endured physically demanding tasks in prison, punishment cells, illness, hallucinations, and bullying from fellow inmates who accused her of being a prostitute. Despite the hardships, she remained resilient. She was reportedly the last to stand trial because organizers were afraid of her, with the judge even asking her to stop lecturing him. Remarkably, Stern escaped execution and was instead banished to a remote region for five years. Stalin's death a year later marked a turning point. The Presidium eventually acknowledged their innocence, and Stern returned to Moscow, continuing her scientific work until her death in 1968 at the age of 89. Some speculate that Stern's knowledge of longevity, combined with Stalin's health concerns, may have spared her life, a surprising alignment of goals that underscored her enduring strength. Lena Stern's capacity to persevere stands as an example of the power of the human spirit in the grand scheme of things. A moving symphony of perseverance and success, her narrative shows us that the human spirit can overcome any obstacle. It is true what Victor Hugo said, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. Dear viewers, we are grateful that you have joined us on this adventure. Sign up now to hear more uplifting stories that reflect the resilience of the human spirit.